cold weather coming, so we're going to winterize the boat, or winterize the engine at least. We already did the uh, fresh water system. So you can see the antifreeze in the lines, good to go. Now we're going to start doing the engine. And the first thing you want to do on the engine is disconnect the water inlet, which we're about to do. disconnect the existing C strainer inlet so I can hook up a hose that will plug into the antifreeze. Should get quite a bit of water here. Nah. Okay so as you can see just disconnected from the water pump connect this temporary hose to the water pump hopefully Get that connected and then we're going to run this to the antifreeze jugs which are there and we're going to have Lisa trade them out as they start getting sucked in so once, once in a minute once we start the motor start the motor. Now we're going to try a different approach because the water pump didn't seem strong enough to to pull that in. That's good baby. Wait till I get it started. If it sucks it in really fast then I'm going to come back down and I'll help you. quick. time with Lisa and a funnel in the antifreeze because we couldn't keep up or make a good enough seal on the antifreeze to water pump connection so we're going to start it back up and see if we can keep up this time perfect baby checking to see there it is there's the pink stuff and let her finish off so you can see what she's doing she's keeping up with the water pump in it Shut it off. And that's it. That winterizes the motor. Supposedly. It's the first time that we've tried it. But uh, that supposedly winterizes the motor. Because you see we've got a the mixing elbow there and it goes down into the that little water muffler down there that fills up and then 
as it gets to a certain level it pops it out and there's no way to get water down into that little muffler you can't see it really because it's dark but this should do it and that's how you want to rise above for all five of us five of us subscribers yeah <laughs> why is that bubbling back it's going into the motor still, which is fine. Okay, it's bubbling. So there you have it. Now we're going to disassemble, and I'm going to clean the C-strainer, pull the C-strainer, and put antifreeze in that, and we'll be good. All right. So as you can see, we've got the antifreeze in the new inlet hose, the temporary inlet hose. Now I'm going to uh, attempt to drain the C-strainer so it doesn't bust during the winter. If we get a winner, and you can see the screw or the bolt right there to to drain it. If we lived in the Caribbean, we wouldn't have to do that. Yeah, we're working on it. <laughs> Got a little drains bolt right here. That probably hasn't been moved in three years. The prior owner didn't come to the boat for three years, so. He never, none of this ever got winterized. Thankfully, it didn't ever rupture. Hopefully do this without losing the bolt. Let's not do that. It feels like there's pressure on it, but there isn't. Just a little, maybe. Next time I'll use a socket for that because that's ridiculously long. Oh, bucket. That's what I had that bucket for. So yesterday we did the antifreeze uh, run into the engine so that we could go ahead and winterize it for the season. The water's down, so we're going to shut the engine down for the season, like we mentioned. And uh, that went really good. We had a couple hiccups with the water pump, not picking up the antifreeze, but we ended up getting it done. And if you look close there you can I don't know if you can see it but the C strainer is full of antifreeze and we ran the engine until the antifreeze pumped all the way through to the water muffler which is the only way to get antifreeze down into the muffler and you can see hopefully you can see the muffler down there it's really dark put some light on it here and you can see the muffler. The only way to get antifreeze in there is to uh, run the engine, let it fill up through the system. And there's our fresh water system that was also winterized yesterday. So we got a couple more finishing touches and that's to drain the block and the uh, water intake down there as required by the service manual. So I finally found some good information on that, and that's what we're going to do next. It's going to be really difficult to see this drain cock right here, but that's it right there. And what we do to activate that that's the closed position doesn't really make sense why that's closed but that's the closed position and this is supposedly the open position either side and I've already drained it out so you can't really see that but that's where it comes out of and then on this side 
is the block drain. It's right there. It's already drained out as well. I've got it open so it can continue to drip any excess. And a freeze did come out of both of them. So that was a plus. That means we actually got it done right. So to do that, you just open this uh, nut up here. You can see a little residual drip just then. Open that up and it drains out of the block. You don't have to take this all the way out. But if you have any type of debris in there, which you shouldn't, but if you do, you can open it up and get any excess out. We're going to leave that open for a little bit. And that should be the winterized engine. And again, this is the 2QM15 Yanmar 2QM15 engine. And that was the winterizing process for this year. It's the first time we've done it, so we'll see how it goes. Okay, so we're still in the process of doing some winterizing. Show you what we did on the head. It's uh, pretty neat for now. I don't know. I took suggestions from Jabsco website and uh, forums and stuff on how to winterize this thing. Some people even disassemble everything. Um, this year I'm just going to try the antifreeze into the head trick and you can see we've got that pump through and ran it through the, the system so you turn it here and you can actually run it into the system that way and we've got the actual raw water inlet disconnected and we're just running antifreeze into it. The holding tank was pumped out and uh, under the V berth here it was pumped out and antifreeze has been added to it via the, the head. So, And then the seacock is down there. A little dark, I don't know if you can see it, but the seacock is closed. So that's how we did the head this year. We'll try it. People have all sorts of different suggestions, but I don't know, we'll try that. Of course, all the plumbing's freshwater system was done yesterday as well. And everything's off. Seacock is off. No leaks, it looks like. The drains are closed and have antifreeze in them. It doesn't really get that cold in Tennessee, but sometimes we have 19 or so degrees for a couple days and I just want to be safe so again more fresh water stuff seat clock is closed to the drain fresh water intake I mean raw water intake is closed working good and flush the seat clock is flushed out as well drains have antifreeze in them raw water for the uh, the pump has been drained out. Air conditioning. The HVAC. HVAC pump is right there. The C strainer for it. Um, all that's been turned off. Antifreeze pumped through the HVAC system. And it exits out right there. Drain is clear. Got antifreeze down at the compressor or at the uh, air conditioner. So that was it for that. I think that covered all of our winterizing. Just doing some finishing touches. Of course, this winter I'm going to be working on. Uh, all the electrical, get the solar system put in, get everything finished up so we can start out fresh next season. 
have a little oil leak in the motor or the engine so we'll take a look at that and see what's up might have to do some engine work as you can see it's a gloomy day on the water water is down about eight feet maybe six probably eight feet just here a little bird owl up there is now above the boat and is usually below the boat 